what's going on guys it's on new york and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be answering your questions that you sent to me now i believe i've only ever done one ask omni episode and it was about three and a half years ago and so much of my life has changed since then um i don't even think that any of the people who asked me questions back then are still watching my channel so it's completely different now and i figured i would create a new episode of ask omni and if i if you guys really like this then maybe i'll do more of these types of videos so really all you have to do if you want to be in an ask omni video is respond to my tweet or or my Instagram story or anything like that where I ask you for questions and include the hashtag ask Omni and these can be questions about me they can be questions about Call of Duty or the gaming industry or business or life or whatever it is whatever it could be literally any question it could be one of the most googled questions in the world or it could be you know what's what uh, brand or your eyeglass it, it could be anything so um it should be interesting hopefully you guys uh send me some really really cool questions for next episode if we do end up doing one um but we got a ton of questions for this uh this re return episode i guess you could say i got a lot of questions from uh instagram i got questions from twitter i got one or two from my discord so i'm going to be reading those off to you guys now i don't know if i'm going to be able to get to them all so if you ask me a question and you don't see it here don't be offended um i did get probably uh over a dozen questions so we'll, we'll just have to see how long this video goes so the first question comes from mr mckee 371 on instagram and i am holding my phone here so if you see me looking away um he says how will call of duty modern warfare sell so this is a great question obviously i have no idea i don't work uh, at activision or infinity ward or for any big gaming company so i really have no clue obviously if i knew then i would be able to make a lot of money on the stock market but regardless um i don't know i think the general the general call of duty community is excited for the game i think the beta went really well the alpha went really well people seemed to enjoy it overall in terms of the general public um but if you take a look at the core call of duty players you know the people who follow call of duty on um twitter and instagram and are really invested in the series i think a lot of them right now are a bit um a bit uneasy with the with the recent leaks that we've heard with regards to supply drops uh and you know having guns in there and you know all sorts of different stuff there's been a lot of controversy lately around how activision is planning on monetizing the game so we'll see how the game sells i think it'll be fun initially but there are there's always the chance that they could ruin it with microtransactions the next question comes from beckman's also on instagram he says uh, aside from all the pvp games out there what are you most looking forward to well as of right now my new computer should be coming in the mail sometime time tomorrow or later this week so I'm really really excited for that because I'm gonna be able to stream a lot more I'm gonna be able to increase the quality of my videos and the, the resolution I could probably start doing 4k if I wanted to um, so I'm really excited for that and just creating content over the next uh, two months or so um, regarding Call of Duty obviously you said besides PvP also we've got holidays coming up so Halloween is always exciting um, we have Thanksgiving we have uh, Christmas and I know I'm going to see some of my family members for Thanksgiving um, I think they rented like a, a, a big like Airbnb to do some sort of family event so I'm excited for that I'm looking forward to that um, but yeah other than that that those are really the things that are on my radar right now I'm looking forward to the Pokemon uh, sword and shield I'm interested to see how that's gonna be hopefully it's not too um, you know hold your hand for little kids the whole time like Sun and Moon was but yeah I'm, I'm excited for that I'm gonna be playing that and uh, those are pretty much the things that come to my mind first so I guess that's what I'm most excited about uh, I'm David 1011 asks will you raid area 51 or nah um, listen brother where do you think I got this big brain from you think I was born with this nah dude um, the raid already happened I don't know if you noticed this or if the media just covered it up where you're from but the raid happened I got me aliens and I got the big the big big boy brain so um yeah uh, the real man b19 says yo saw it uh one nightingale says thoughts on a well that's where poop comes from so i don't know i'm i'm a relatively clean person i think that answers the question <laughs> uh leo underscore o4 says hey bro would you like to come visit and see me in italy dude i would love to visit italy italy is on the bucket list it's one of the places that i would love to fly to definitely want to go there someday um right now it's not in the budget not in the plans as of right yet um but yeah one day i would love to visit uh, italy and when i do if there are any people that watch my videos who 
want to say hi of course i would um i would make some time for that ali what's up man uh he says thoughts on the new game releases um so i really honestly haven't been keeping up with too many of the latest game releases i know ghost recon came out um there's been a couple other things that got the community buzzing but really i haven't been looking too much into it right now i'm just focusing on call of duty modern warfare coming out um call of duty mobile was technically a release that i think went over really well i think it set records for the number of people playing it um so that's really cool i'm happy for them for that but uh right now there's not much that i care about at the moment i didn't play uh what was it Link's awakening um i do want to at least try that but right now it's not really on the, on the list so yeah i'm just looking forward to call of duty right now and um and pokemon obviously i mentioned that before but those are the two main things at the moment and then we'll see you know once those games die down if there's anything that i missed from this holiday season i'll go back and uh and i will play those games uh krista laney said which do you prefer campaign games or multiplayer game modes so for me um in the past i used to say that it didn't matter like i didn't i would say you know some games are great single player some games are great multiplayer and it, they just exist on their own and i do feel that way um i still do think obviously that's the case i've spent a ridiculous amount of time on skyrim and pokemon and other you know primarily first uh, or single player games right so that's still the case but unfortunately i think as we move more and more into a multiplayer world um i get more excited for games that have some sort of multiplayer component obviously fortnite came out i never played save the world but i did play battle royale so you know i can't say that i have no preference um i do prefer multiplayer uh games at least types of games where there's a multiplayer component so you know like let's talk about monster hunter right you can pretty much play a lot of the the, the game single player but you also can do it multiplayer which is, i think is really cool so um having a game where you can grind single player and then show it off multiplayer is also really cool i think that provides a really awesome incentive to continue playing a single player game because you know a lot of times after you beat the game then you no longer uh you know you no longer play it right but of course then there's breath of the wild which was primarily single player or really only single player um so yeah i mean it's it's hard to say but mostly i'm excited for multiplayer uh she also asked a follow-up question what's your go-to order at any coffee shop so the coffee shop that i primarily visit most of the time is starbucks because i do like starbucks a lot i do i know like it's kind of like overrated or whatever but i really do like starbucks um for the summertime, I go for a uh, a grande cold brew with half and half and uh, their their simple syrup like uh, sweetener. So I know it's a little bit weird to add those to a cold brew, but I do really like that. Oh, I prefer it over um, uh, over just an iced coffee. Uh, so that's for the summer. If it's the winter time, or if I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of how many calories I'm consuming. Or even if I have like a sore throat or something, I do prefer their either Americano or their Blonde Americano, which they, I don't know if they still have that, but um, the Blonde Americano is really, really good actually. So I do like the Americanos um, from there. Sometimes I add some, some cream to that as well, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and then fall time, fall season, I absolutely love the new pumpkin cream cold brew that Starbucks had for this fall insane so good it's absolutely incredible I love it I love it so much um, and the pumpkin spice lattes obviously are incredible but they do have a lot of calories so I try to not have them as much anymore but uh, yeah they are really really good so those are my most uh, popular orders at coffee shops if it's a coffee shop I've never been to I try to get their cold brew just to try it out um, but yeah uh, Glitch Sites um, asked me from Twitter, he said, what has been your favorite non-Call of Duty game in the last five years? For me, it would have to either be uh, the Pokemon um, franchise, essentially, because we saw, um, we saw, what was it? We saw Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and then also um, a little bit of some of the, what was it? Um, I didn't really like Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, but I did like um, Pokemon X and Y, which that exceeds five years at this point. Um, but then there was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which I believe was within the last five years. So yeah, I really, um, I really enjoyed, uh, what is going on with my hair here? Um, I really enjoy the Pokemon franchise and besides that, probably, um, Skyrim, like I said, I've played, I play Skyrim off and on every, like once a year, usually I, I return to Skyrim and, and just kind of screw around the game for a little bit. I just love immersing myself in the, 
in the world right in in the world of skyrim it's just so well done um absolutely a masterpiece i know the game is like a meme at this point because every console they re-release it but uh yeah skyrim deserves all the hype i think it's a really 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 good game uh my boy true warlord asked me on twitter he said what is my guilty pleasure uh my guilty pleasure i would have to say um i'm a huge sucker for like uh, well, I think my guilty pleasure is probably Starbucks. I spend too much money on Starbucks, and I do like everything there. Like, I love their, um, their, uh, blueberry muffins, their scones, every, there's, every, there's so many good things at Starbucks that I really love, um, and I'd spend too much money there, for sure. Like, if I look at my bank account, I know I spend too much there. Um, but besides that, there are some games where I don't mind, uh, microtransactions, um, mobile games specifically if it's if it's free to play I don't mind spending money on the game and uh, sometimes I might get a little bit carried away spending a little too much on some of the games that I've played in the last um, probably year or two um, and besides that I'm a huge sucker for donuts like if I go somewhere and there's a if there's a, a donut shop that I've never seen before and they have really cool donuts like I will eat those calories like I will do it I, I have to do it um, so I love donuts as well and uh, the last one's probably Domino's I think every couple of weeks like I get this craving for Domino's and I just sit there and eat like 3,000 calories of just greasy like pepperoni pizza and their their stuffed cheesy bread with the bacon and the jalapenos is so good my boy days or dazes or Darren whatever you want me to call you on a video um he asked me who would you move to LA with if you had the choice this is a tricky question because I don't know if he means like anybody in the world like could I pick anyone to move to LA with or just realistically out of my friend group who would I move there with that's a great question uh if I could I would move there with my friends and family from here in new york city um, but i know that that's really not realistic um, i would love to reconnect with my cousin luke if you're watching this bro um, i would love to he lives in arizona i believe at the, at the moment um, so that would be really cool i haven't seen him in a long time uh, but really it would just be cool to have a, a house full of, of gamers people who make content stream make youtube videos that would that's always been like a, a dream of mine to, to kind of live in an environment like that and just you know just a bunch of friends making videos playing video games and just having fun having a good time and and being in LA would be even cooler because I absolutely fell in love with the city when I went there for my birthday about a month ago um, if you meant celebrities or anybody in the world maybe I can follow this up on the next episode uh, Martha asked me a couple of questions this is Martha May UK from uh, Twitter and Instagram she asked me um, one if you could live in any video game world what would it be um, for me it would probably have to be it's a it's a throw up I'm, I thought of three right off the bat I thought of uh, World of Warcraft, I thought of Fable, and I thought of Pokemon. Um, Pokemon would be the most relaxing, the most chill, the most calm, the most cute, the most fun. Um, but if you look at games like uh, Fable, uh, specifically Fable 2, I guess, because there's a pretty big difference between the three in the series, um, that would just be such a magical experience incredible world and same thing with world of warcraft world of warcraft is just it has such deep rich lore that it's just such a the world is so fleshed out already in the virtual sense that living in there in real life it would just be insane so those would be probably my top three if i i, I don't know if i can pick um then she said um if you could travel anywhere in the world where would you go uh, i'm going to assume that that I don't have to worry about language barriers right for this question um, I would probably have to say Japan I really would love to go to Japan I think a lot of my childhood a lot of my favorite games um, a lot of my favorite technology comes from there or was inspired by them um, so I'd love to go there obviously I would need some sort of I mean I know people say that like if you go to the tourist areas of Japan then you don't really need a translator because a lot of them speak English but I would prefer to have one um, and kind of go off the beaten path so that would probably be it and then her third question was what are your top genres to watch on YouTube which is a really interesting question because I don't watch the types of content that I make um, primarily I watch videos uh, mainly lectures about philosophy and psychology um, and a lot of like um, like self-improvements uh, type of things honestly a lot of the stuff that I watch is more like documentary style or educational or something like that which is really lame it's nothing that uh, that I typically um, upload so yeah I, I love that type of stuff it's um, or like mysteries to like like um, you know like criminal investigations and things like that or like reddit like mysteries from mysterious reddit accounts and like you know just internet 
oddities like those are the types of things that I really love to to watch um or like if I'm really into a game at a, at a moment I'll look up gameplay you know like uh tips and tricks and things like that but mostly those three or however many genres I just uh, gave you next we have HD pride or Aaron what's up man he said top five games of all time I don't know if I can actually pick five specific games so what I'm gonna do is put in the franchises that I love the most in order um, it's a rough order it changes depending on my mood so I'm gonna go with um, Call of Duty I'm gonna go with Pokemon I'm gonna go with uh, uh, Legend of Zelda then we're gonna go with I think next would have to be Elder Scrolls and for the fifth place spot uh, I'm gonna have to go with I guess Super Smash Brothers. Um, I do think Melee is the best out of those, um, just because I spent so much time playing it. But yeah, I don't know if I could really narrow it down. Obviously, I could, you know, kind of give you a, a general idea of what my favorite games in those series are. But um, it's definitely more than five if we if we go that route. All right, I'm gonna go through all the questions. We're just gonna hit them all. Uh, the next one it comes from Tyler Mick D65. He says, "What are your favorite foods to eat during stream? Um, during streaming, I love eating Fiber One brownies. Um, this I actually talked about." on my weight loss video they're just small great snacks to eat um, usually things that don't get my fingers like dirty or sticky or anything like that because I'm gripping a controller um, so yeah that's typically like one of the biggest things but um, anything else um, if I'm able to like wash my hands then probably pizza and I also drink a lot of energy drinks I don't know if that counts um, where is your dream city to live well I do live in New York City and this was a goal of mine for a while so I'm really happy with that um, but probably I would try to I would like to try to live in LA see how that is I don't know if it's like a dream at this point but it, it I guess that's as close as I can get um, if you could pick between 1 million cash or never have to worry about bills again in your life which would you choose um, I don't uh, I'm gonna say never worry about bills again because I could easily rack up more than a million dollars worth of bills if we're talking credit cards utilities uh, yeah so it would be worth way more to have no bills um, and then he says what, what's up homie what, what's up man how are you my boy Sess asked me over on Twitter he said why do they charge more at fast food joints to add stuff but it doesn't come out cheaper if you take off stuff um, the reason for that is because they control their profits that's why I mean big businesses they basically mass produce one thing and if you want to add extra they can do that for you if they have incentive of getting more money but if you want something taken away tough luck you're just you're just getting what you're getting what you're getting basically they're only gonna do what's in their best interest obviously Ali asked me what inspired you to stream and make videos um, I was inspired to make videos 10 plus years ago just by watching my favorite youtubers on YouTube people like wings of redemption and um, Woody's gamer tag X draws these guys making Call of Duty videos was insane and then I also used to make um, Pokemon videos and Yu-Gi-Oh videos because there was a lot of cool content creators in that space at the time I'm sure there are still it just I kind of outgrew that type of content um, and then streaming I was inspired to stream by uh, nade shot and similar content creators um, courage Valkyrie like those types of people inspired me recently to really take it more seriously um, he also asked PS4 or Xbox I think PS4 is better but the Xbox has a better controller and also the 360 was better than the PS3 even though I played the PS3 probably a little bit more um, he also asked top five favorite music artists so I'm gonna go with um, okay that question I can't answer that question it's just impossible my favorite genres change every other day so that question I, I really cannot answer it like I, I, I have no idea uh, Borco 15 said what kind of music do you listen to and your favorite band um, same thing can't really pick a favorite band I mainly listen to hip-hop rap music with a lot of like bass heavy EDM um, but I also listen to all sorts of other stuff a lot of like uh, lo-fi a lot of um, sometimes I go on vaporwave kicks or classical piano or like I, I listen to everything man I everything but country for sure all right and the last couple of questions were just repeats of questions that I already answered earlier in the video so I'm gonna skip those so um, yeah I'm pretty sure I answered all the questions oh just kidding I have my man drew from discord he says sucking toes or eating ass I would not like either of those options I would not enjoy either of those things so I'm gonna go with whichever is cleaner I'm gonna say whichever one you've cleaned more recently that's the one that I'm gonna go with because again we talked about this and uh, yeah 
guys thank you so much for everyone who participated in this video if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed learning something about me or if you agreed with any of my top favorite games or anything like that make sure you comment down below telling me um, what some of your answers are to these questions I would love to hear from you guys um, if you want me to do another one of these videos make sure you drop a question down below I'll be pulling the questions from the comment section first for next video so if I ever make another one of these the questions down here are gonna be the ones that I use first with that being said guys if you're new around here make sure you drop a subscription to the channel I would appreciate it very much click that notification bell like the video if you really enjoyed it around here dislike it if you didn't I guess um, and all my social media links are in the description below if you want to come follow me over there or in discord and with that being said guys thank you so much this has been Omni Arc. I will talk to you guys again soon peace